Well, like Capricorns, this is your love reading for August 2018. I am doing Alpha Capricorns first. So you are an Alpha Capricorn if you are assertive, outgoing, and, masculine, and you identify with masculine energies. Those are the energies I am focusing on. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. If it resonates, wonderful. Uh, consider a personal reading. My rates and my info are below. In addition to my email, so just shoot me an email and we can go ahead and set that up. Things I need to mention, my 2018 Sun Moon readings are up in my playlist. Go look up what your Sun Moon sign is and then check out what your behavioral traits in addition to your 2008 predictions are. Um, doesn't matter when you see it. When you see it is when you were meant to view it even though it's middle of the year. Also, my compatibility readings are going up slow as a tortoise, but I will get them done. I'm currently working on Libra, so go check those out. I'm on Instinct, the Instinct Go app, so if you need a quick answer to a quick question, text only on there, so download the Instinct Go app. That's another way to reach out to me. And then finally, I'll be including a Vimeo link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling. This could be a crush, a current, or an ex. So let's see what's going on with you guys. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guys, universe. Can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, your insight for Capricorns for love, August 2018? What are the energies they came out of? What ener love energies can they expect in 2018? And how will they move be moving out? I'm like moving, moving, moving out of August into September. It's great with objectivity to read these cards as they're intended to be read and say your messages as you intend them to be said. I always think that sounds like his legal disclaimers at the end of things. When the guy talks really fast, that's like my that's like my tarot uh, Holy Spirit disclaimer. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, one more shuffle. Okay. So, Holy Spirit Angels, can you please show me previous or prior energies, love energies that Capricorn has come out of? Alpha Capricorns. What did they come out of previously? We have the seven of pentacles in the upright. Can you show me what love energies alpha Capricorns can expect? August 2018. What can they expect? We have the, what do we have? Ooh, the emperor. I mean, how can I not know that that isn't the emperor? Look at that freaking cat. He looks like he's going to scratch your eyes out. The emperor in the upright, the boss man. And then how will they be moving forward? They are pushing out of, out the Nine of Cups. Oh, boom, boom, boom. Okay, well, here we go. <laughs> I'm already started seeing something, and I will pull clarifiers as needed. So we have the Seven of Pentacles here. Here you guys were thinking prior to August 2018, should you invest in a relationship or not? And if you are going to invest in this relationship, is, is it going to be long term? Is it worth putting in the effort in regards to this? Is there going to be a success after you put all this work into it? Um, so you're having this pause. You're thinking about it. Is this, you know, because people don't want to throw down money if it's not going to, you know, <laughs> there's not an investment. In it. You don't want to put your time and effort into something, especially you Capricorns, if, if the person isn't worth it or there isn't an end point or you don't achieve something. So that's what I feel like it was prior to. Now, the person that I feel like you guys are investing in is this wonderful emperor, okay? Um, could be an Aries, does not have to be an Aries. They could simply have the energy of the Aries. Um, you know, that fiery, the, the fire, typical fire sign, um, you know, behavioral patterns. Um, some... This guy is the boss man, okay? So this is somebody who demands respect. This is somebody who, uh, if it, it, it's a family situation because love can pertain to anything, this could very well be like a patriarch of the family, an uncle, a father, okay? This guy likes things a certain way and he lets you know it. Um, I'm not gonna say he's a control freak, but sometimes he can be. But most of the times he comes on and he says, listen, I'm going to be the boss man in this relationship. This is how I like things. This is, I like to keep things in order. I like to keep them organized. This is what your role is going to be in this relationship. This is how you're going to go about doing things. And so he likes things to run a certain way and he lets it be known. Okay. So I feel like that's the individual that you're dealing with that you're wondering, you know, should I or shouldn't I? Okay. Um, and in August, I think you give it a go. But August coming out of September, I see you start to realize things about this person, okay? Because we have the Nine of Cups in reverse, and we have the Knight of Cups in reverse. So you're realizing that this person is a little bit selfish. They put themselves first. You're kind of getting lost. You're being put on the back burner. You're kind of getting bruised while they kind of follow their ambitions, while they kind of do their things. You're finding out maybe they have a little bit of an ego. Um, maybe they're a little narcissistic. Maybe it's all about them. In addition to that, with this Knight of Cups in reverse, you're also finding out this person might have intimacy 
intimacy issues, commitment issues. They're moody. They get jealous. They can be emotionally abusive. Um, you know, just, just somebody that's like that. So I feel like you're, you're fine. You, you're, you're wondering whether or not you're going to continue with this person. And then as it goes along, you, you start getting red flags and you're like hell to the no. Okay. Can you please provide clarification on the seven of pentacles? Why is the seven of pentacles here for alpha Capricorn energies prior to August, 2018? Who is this person? What is this energy? Why is the seven of pentacles here for alpha Capricorn's personality? Yeah. Okay. So we have the hangman. You're trying to decide what am I going to do with this? Oh my God. If one of my cats tore my curtains up like this, you don't even know what happened. He's freaking hanging from the curtains. Really, dude? That cat would be like gone. All right. <laughs> so here you are. You're hanging around. You're in limbo. I don't know. Should I? Shouldn't I? Should I? Shouldn't I? Using the time to try to figure out you, what you're going to do. Justice card in reverse. I feel like this is one of your red flags you're getting. When you're dealing with this person, you're sensing, you were sensing the unfairness in them. You were sensing that they weren't listening to your point of view when you expressed it, that you were being silenced. Um, but because, and also the justice card is a card of Libra, if that resonates with you, but you're starting to sense the unfairness and you're starting to wonder, do I really want to continue in a relationship like this? Um, you know, where I always have to like, um, enforce my opinion or, you know, I have to fight to be heard or I have to fight for my ways. So this is the red flag things going on. Knight of Chalices, but you really, really, really like this person. You do connect to them. Um, you know, when you're with them, you feel like they swept you off. Your, when you were with them, you feel like they swept you off your feet. You have a huge emotional connection with them. It's all romantic. Um, you guys, I always feel like you guys... And, and even though it's not the pentacles, I feel like you guys almost work well together, okay? Or this could be you met this person in a work situation, and, and that's how this kind of took off. But, you know, you're kind of fighting because this person makes you feel wonderfully, but you're seeing all this other stuff that isn't jiving that you don't really care for in a long-term relationship. Can you please provide clarification on the emperor? Who, who is this person? What is this energy? Why is this emperor here for Alpha Capricorns? The love energies, August 2018. Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages, please. Okay. There's some personality perspective. Five of Cups. Okay, so we have the Five of Cups. I do you think, oh, there's the Emperor again. Okay, I think this person's a little too, I think you have a power struggle with this person. You do see their traits in them. But it's the fact that they always want to be on top and you being a Capricorn, you might not be okay with that. King of Swords, you seeing the truth, you seeing the clarity, you, you realizing that you kind of need to walk away from this person because we have. And, and the thing is, so with the Five of Cups, you know that you need to go separate ways in regards to this person. That doesn't mean you aren't going to have regrets. That doesn't mean it's not going to hurt. It doesn't mean that you aren't going to be disappointed or sorrowful, but you know that you have to do it because with the Emperor here, again, his ways are kind of coming through. You guys are clashing as a result, and you just know it's not going to work out. So you kind of take your heart out of it with the King of Swords, and you're making the decision, the logical decision, the intellectual decision based on truth, the objective decision to separate from this person because you have made the realization that no matter how this person makes you feel, it's just not going to work long term. These issues that they have are going to are going to be the deal breaker. They're going to keep coming up. And it's not going to be long term as a result. I also feel like some of you feel like this person has some changing to do. This could be a soulmate relationship too, where you guys come together, you go through cycles and you come back together and then it turns out this person has more work to do or you have more work to do because you guys aren't on the same plane, I like to say. And so you separate, you go your separate ways, you go through your experiences, you have to, and then you come back together. Right now you guys are a miss. You're not, you're not on the same plane. Um, can you please provide clarification on this Nine of Cups? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages, please, for the Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here for Alpha Capricorns in regards to as they move out of August into September person personality? Oh, chariot in reverse. Personality. Okay, so you do give up the world card in reverse. Okay. You do give up, but I feel like you don't have the closure that you want. We have the world card in reverse. We have the chariot card in reverse. Chariot is a card of cancer, if that's relevant. Um, and and it, it, with the chariot card, you just kind of realize 
this person, their, their ways, how they are, they aren't going to change anytime soon. So I think, I think you've, you kind of waited it out, um, to kind of see how it would pan out, but you don't see things changing. So with the chariot card, you know, this isn't going anywhere. You know, you decide to give up the world card. You, you're still having questions about walking away from it. I think it's because this person does have qualities that stir something within you. You're having the, Oh, if only they would dot, 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 like, like, those kind of things. So I do feel like you're going to leave this relationship. Um, and for some of you, and I hate to say it, but like I said, this could be a karmic relationship where you're going through cycles and you're leaving, but it's still open-ended and you're just leaving to go through, you guys go your separate ways to learn the lessons you need to, and you might reconnect, um, somewhere down the line, but this definitely is not the time for this relationship. Can you please provide clarification on this? Knight of Cups in reverse. Why is this Knight of Cups here in reverse for Alpha Capricorns as they move out of August and September? Who is this? Per Excuse me, I'm Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages, please. Person, personality, perspective, person. Two of Pentacles. That's not, I'm sorry, that's the Two of Wands. There's your card, the card of Capricorn, Devil card. Okay, so. I mean, you do, you've realized that this person, how they are, and you know, if you stay with that devil card, and as I said, that's a Capric Capric Capricorn, <laughs> Capricorn, the card of Capricorn, and you know, if you stay, this is going to be, so you know, this isn't the right time for you guys, or if it is, is your time at all, you know, it's going to be a very toxic relationship based on, um, Addiction, greed, envy, jealousy, materialism, being obsessed with the other person, um, obsessive compulsive tendencies, what have you, whatever they are, they're not healthy reasons to stay in this relationship. You know, if you stay in this relationship, it's funny because you're very tied to this person. So, you know, if you stay in it, you're going to have a very hard time getting out of it. Okay. So I almost feel like for some of you, you're like, if not now, when, so you're kind of telling yourselves, let me get out of this now before things become problematic. Um, and when you do so, the two of wands happens. Um, and this is with the two of wands I was getting, cause the two of wands is about making a choice, but it's about making, waiting for results. I kind of feel like you guys are going to go out um, experience things. Remember what I said about you kind of like going out and learning something and then maybe reconnecting at a later time. I keep on getting that with this person. I feel like you need to have a lot more experiences. You need to get out and see the world. You need to see everything that's out there. Um, and then with, when I said like waiting for results and then making a choice based on those results, I almost feel like with here, you're hoping that person's doing the same thing because the two is, the two of wands can be about plans and partnerships. And I'm really getting like the two of wands is now is in our time. We both need to go do our separate thing. And then maybe later on, you know, we'll check in and we'll readdress this. But right now, this isn't the time. I just feel like that should be the title. Right now isn't the time. Um, because you guys aren't clicking. And however this person is being is just a little too strong for you. Um, and, and it's just not... Um, uh, um, and I don't want to say oppressive. It, it's not a power struggle that you just want to deal with at this time. You, you have other things to kind of deal with. So I think you guys are actually making a right decision, kind of, you know, leaving this and, and letting, letting this person kind of figure it out on their own why, why you know, they're repelling people or why people are resistant to them, rather. Because that's the energy I get from this person. Okay, guys, I'm going to move on to the beta Capricorn reading. You're more than welcome to hang out, of course. Um, I'm going to mention everything I mentioned in the beginning. One, that if this reading resonated with you, consider a personal reading. My rates and info are below. Two, check out my playlist lists. In there, you will find my 2018 Sun Moon readings in addition to my compatibility readings. Three, I'm on Instant Go. If you need a quick answer to a quick question, download the app and you can get that look me up and I'll be on there. And then finally, I'll be leaving a Vimeo link at below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling, be it a crush, a current or an ex. Okay. On to the betas. Hola beta Capricorns. This is Veronica Garnett bringing you your love reading for August, 2018. If this reading resonates, consider a personal reading. My rates and info are below. In addition to my email, send me an email. We can make that happen. You are a beta Capricorn if you're introverted, in, 
introspective and tend to identify with feminine energies. Things I would like to mention, my 2018 sun moon readings are all loaded in my playlists, okay? Look up your sun moon sign and then go check that out to find out your behavioral traits in addition to predictions for 2018. Doesn't matter when you see it, when you view it is when you're meant to see it. My compatibility readings are also going up at a snail's, snail's pace. I'm currently working on Libra. Go check those out or subscribe to get notifications. I'm also on the InstaGo app, so if you need a quick answer to a quick question, text only, please. I'll be leaving a Vimeo link also below for, it's a bonus Vimeo link for what your love interest is thinking or feeling, whether it be a crush, a current, or an ex, okay? Let's see what's going on with Beta Capricorns. Holy Spirit Angels, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, and clarity for Beta Capricorns? Can you please show me prior love energies? What love energies can expect in August 2018, and how will they be moving out of August into September? Please frame an objectivity. Read these cards as they're intended to be read, and say your messages as you intend them to be said. I don't know why I just thought of it. No, never mind. It's so random, it won't matter. And it had nothing to do with you, so you guys will be like, why is she even talking about that? <laughs> can you please show me previous love energies? Prior to August 2018, for Beta Capricorns, we have the judgment card in reversed. Can you please show me love energies that await them in August 2018? We have the hermit card in reversed. Okay, this could be a single reading. And how will they be moving out of August into September? We have the Ten of Cups in the upright. All right, I'm already seeing a theme here. We'll pick through it one by one. And then I will lay down clarifiers. We have the judgment card in reverse for you guys. Prior energies to August. Um, the judgment card in reverse is very much about making the same mistakes over and over again. Not learning the lessons that you needed to learn. Um, because you're not assessing, you know, it, it, one of the reasons it could be not like letting, letting go of things, not accepting things, not accepting things that you do. Um, it can be because of pride. It can be because of other things. But it really is about needing to take a really hard, cold, hard look at your behavioral patterns, how you've been conducting yourself, what people you've been falling for, bef falling for before, and why, and, and just you know a little bit of self analysis. And when the judgment cards are the part, when it's a re reverse, it's a refusal to kind of do this, being in denial, um, you know, having an error in judgment, and and not learning from that error in judgment that you had. Okay. So what happens here in August, remember this isn't going to resonate for any of you, I feel like this is a particular story for some Beta Capricorns, is the Hermit card. And that's the card of Virgo, if that resonates with you. With the Hermit card, so as a result, here you are single. And the universe is forcing you to actually go within, to find your clarity. What is your personal truth? What is your quest? What is your end point? Where do you want to go with relationships? All of this kind of self analyzation. So even though you're avoiding it here prior to August, you will be forced to, to do so, to enlighten yourself, to really kind of, because you will be alone, you will have that solitude to figure things out. You will have that candle to light your way in that river. <laughs> I must think of this like a lighthouse when, when, because it's water and he's in a boat and he's holding a candle and I feel like it's a lighthouse kind of guiding you. So you're going to find that light. You're going to find your lighthouse and you're going to, you're going to figure out which way to steer your boat. And when you do so, we have the 10 of cups waiting for you as you move into September. So this is the lovey dovey card. Um, when it comes to love, it's about, you know, the, I would say the white picket fence, the kids running around the yard, you guys are sitting in your porch chairs, sipping wine, um, kind of watching this all go on. Um, you know, it's, it's an ideal family. It's an ideal relationship. Everything's harmonious. You're content. You're fulfilled. It's prosperous everywhere you look in regards to love or this relationship. So you guys need to do this work before the universe will allow you to get to here. And I always say it's better sooner than later. So, you know, if not now, when? Okay. Can you please provide clarification on the judgment card in reverse for Beta Capricorns? Why is the judgment card here in reverse for Beta Capricorns? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages. Beta Capricorns judgment card in reverse, please. Okay. Person, personality, perspective, judgment card in reversed. Okay. So some of you might have had a breakup in your past, a divorce, night of chalices. Person. 
And the Five of Cups. Okay. So, I feel like some of you had a relationship in your past, probably with this Knight of Chalices here. The guy that comes in and sweeps you off your feet. Oh my God, you have such a deep emotional connection. Oh my God, his white horse. Oh my God, he's so dreamy. Wow, I, we have such an emotional connection, like almost like that. And maybe you went ahead and you pursued this. Maybe you had this. Um, okay, and I'm seeing this, I'm seeing this one of two ways, actually. So maybe you had this with this person. And then as a result, you end up getting in this relationship. We had the lovers in reverse, which is um, the card of Gemini for those of you who resonates. But what ended up, it ended up in breakup. It ended up in divorce, arguments, a lot of discord between you guys. The lover, lover's card in reverse is a lot of times one person look at the other person and going, oh my God, what did I ever see in you? What were we ever thinking? Like that kind of stuff. And, and you know, that causes a fissure in the relationship and then crap just starts to fall apart. Five of Cups is the loss, the regret, the sorrow, going your separate ways, but, you know, feeling disappointed, feeling like you, you could have done better. Or some of you might have felt that way as you were exiting the relationship, okay? That's one way this can go. The other way I'm going, I see this, is that you guys have this happen where you actually have a divorce, you go separate ways in regards to somebody, and then you get in a relationship with somebody else who ends up being this. You get into it too soon, probably because you're coming out of a bad thing and you're looking for a knight in shining armor. So you run into this gentleman um, who ends up being, but he, he's very, even though he's very romantic, he can be a little bit immature and it's not a long-term connection. It's actually a short-term thing. So the knight of, you might've gotten into something like that. And it didn't end, it end up necessarily working out because here we have the Hermit card in the upright. So let's see what's going on with the Hermit card. Let's just provide clarification on the Hermit card. Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages for the Hermit card in the upright for Beta Capricorns. Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages, please. Person, personality. He didn't want them in my cards. Okay. So actually, believe it or not, once, once you're alone and once you're by yourself, a lot of good things start coming to you. You, you actually end up, wishes start being fulfilled. This is just singularly. You get to concentrate on your success. Your plans are realized. You have abundance. Uh, you're moving, you're happy, you're content. But you're happy and content. This card's here because you're learning to be happy and content by yourself. That you don't need anybody. Bum, bum, bum. And then comes the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. A little bit of bad luck. And I'll get to that. Okay, and the King of Wands. So these two are together here. Okay, so I feel like once you're by yourself, you're actually, you're doing pretty good by yourself. But I don't know. Some of you meet a fire sign in August. Okay, because your luck turns. And, and this guy isn't good luck. Or this, this girl isn't good luck. Either way, it doesn't have a gender to it. They bring bad luck with them. Things get a little bit out of control because of this person. I don't know if it's this Knight of Cups. I'm not. It could be the Knight of Cups. Okay, so here you are here. You didn't learn from your mistakes of this breakup that you had here. You met this Knight of Cups. You get all wrapped up in him. You come in here. You're still single, though. But you're still seeing them. And I see you being single because here you are with the Nine of Cups working on your own stuff, your own happiness and fulfill fulfillment. And then a little bit of bad luck comes along in the shape of this King of Wands, who is a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. And this guy can be a little bit overbearing. You draw a line in the sand, he's going to step over it. He, sometimes he can be a bully. He can have... Um, sexual problems. He can weaken you. Um, another thing is he might tell you he's ready, but he's not ready. So I feel like that's what goes on here. And, th and it's going on while you're all in this like, oh, let's go deep and let's figure me out kind of deal. Why am I getting the feeling you kick that person to the curb though? All right. Because you're all happy-go-lucky over here. Um, just by clarification on this Ten of Cups. Why is this Ten of Cups here? Who is this person? What is this energy? Why is this Ten of Cups here for Beta Capricorns as they move out of August and September? Who is this person? What is this energy? Whoever, and that King of Wands here does not have to be a, a love interest. King of Wands can be somebody who's older, um, who's a, a patriarch, like in the family, a father, an uncle, somebody who is making things difficult for you. And causing your luck to turn. It doesn't necessarily have to be. 
It could be an ex coming back, making things problematic for you because you're you're having this happy go lucky thing going on and going within. What's the Oh, I think <laughs> I'm starting to think this Ten of Cups here is your happiness. You're you're fulfilled, your prosperity your harmony outside of somebody because we have the six of wands we have the ten of swords we have the knight of swords i feel like a dis disruptive energy came in on you guys i think you guys were doing fine you were doing very well and i'm going to take it back here with the ten of cups because you know there's a lot of different messages um but I'm going to take it back here with this Ten of Cups because with the Ten of Cups, I think this is you guys being har being harmonious with yourselves and fulfilled, you know, in what you're doing, whether it be, you know, work or whether it be um, just like, you know, and anything outside of a relationship. And, and I think like there's this problematic energy here that's ruining your vibe. Like, I feel like you guys really got yourself together singularly. And this person keeps on trying to poke in and like, they're problematic. They're disruptive. And they're trying to turn your luck around. They're trying to stop you from this feel good path that you're on. That seems to be a common theme sometimes. And then this six of wands, it's, they're trying to weaken you. I'm getting. Another thing I'm getting is they don't like seeing you all single and like, yay. They're trying to instill um, a lack of confidence in you. But here you just cut them loose. Because here's the Ten of Swords, and I feel like you end up ending it because, or it, it, you end up ending it, or it doesn't end up ending well. It's a painful ending, but it has to happen. You're kind of like, this cycle has to end with this person. Because they aren't bringing any, they aren't adding to your life. They're taking away from your life. I mean, here they came in with a romantic attempt. Here, here they start asserting yourself and be, themselves and just being a downright dick. And you're over here like, hey, I'm all happy. You have the two nines here. You're getting right to the end of the cycle. Oh, okay. You're getting right to the end of a cycle of doing fine. You complete the cycle here with the 10. So you you continue to be prosperous and fulfilled. And this person's just grouchy or just being a dick. And they're coming in and like, they want to, they want to, they kind of want to mess with you. And it's almost like they've made, I know this is going to sound weird. But between the, the Knight of Chalices, the King of Wands, and the Knight of Swords, I feel like they try to break you down in, or try to get in three different ways. One, being all romantic. That doesn't work. So second stage, Operation Dick or Bitch, either one. And, and they, they come out and they go, okay, well, this didn't work being all romantic and trying to get them, you know, to do this. So now I'm going to be oppressive and I'm going to, I'm going to try to tell them, you know, try to shake them up a little bit. Over here, they're trying to weaken you. And with the Knight of Swords, there's another energy there in reverse. Real, you know, now at this point, they're, they're being really big talkers, but there's no follow through. Either that or they're blaming stuff on you. So I almost feel like this... A Knight of Swords in combination with this Six of Wands is them getting downright desperate. They're spinning their wheels because they see you doing so well. And they've tried everything to either try to bring you down or insert themselves in your life. And I think you just kind of, you've brushed them off. So they escalate their emotions or they escalate their actions to kind of try to get control over you or try to get attention or what have you. And you just are like, no, bye-bye. And it's going to suck because I think when you, this person doesn't like to hear no often. So when you tell them no, I think there's going to be an ending that isn't, it isn't so great. But I do think that, you know, it's the right thing to do. And you're like, you know, I can't, I can't be around this. I got such a good vibe going on right now that no matter what, um, God, what's the chameleon, chameleon, no matter what color you take on trying to like get back to me, it's just, I, I this is the end of a cycle for us. And I know, I know this isn't going to work out. Um, so please stop trying to, you know, <laughs> be all these different people to try and coerce me into something when clearly I'm not interested in life is fine for me. Okay. Well, that was a wacky reading. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end this.